Hi everybody, my name is Johannes Devos. I'm the music director of the Canadian Opera Company. First of all, after a performance of Falstaff, you, you feel a bit like taking a bath in champagne, I would say. I never tried to do that, <laughs> but that's how I imagine it must feel. That, that actually um, has very, for me, in common with, with Mozart. You know, um, also with Mozart, there's no character that is um, just black or just white. They all have so many, many different shades. Um, they are never one-dimensional or they never go just into one direction. And it's not a matter of how many notes they have to sing or how many words they have to, to say in, in, in those pieces. It's about, at the end, how they sing. As again, as the, the, the singer for such roles, how they sing those words, how they sing those lines. It's in fact, it's an ensemble opera. It's an ensemble that needs this, this team effort, this team guys, this team spirit. And um, you as the conductor, obviously you're a part of it. So you are in a certain way exhausted, but happy at the same time. Uh, well, I mean, obviously there, there are those moments that um, we could call slapstick moments that, I mean, the, the, the big scene, um, end of act two, when it gets really turbulent in, in, in Ford's household, um, and they try, the, the ladies try to get foul stuff into the basket. I mean, there are various ways to, to stage it. I think Robert Carson's staging, in general, is, is, is phenomenal, and in particular, in, in those moments where um, there is a chance for, for slapstick. Um, obviously, there are some moments of, I would say, musical uh, humor, uh, like the, the emphasizing the chest voice of, of Miss, Miss Quickly, for example. And it's something I, I believe everybody gets, because it's so idiomatic, and, you know, very, <laughs> was able just with one stroke of his his pen to characterize something, to capture something essential. If we take that, his own biography, if we take Verdi's own biography into consideration here, then it's maybe even more astounding that he, um, as his last opera, decided to write a comedy. Um, um, okay, I'm looking forward, obviously, to the, the next shows I'm conducting. Not because I'm conducting it, um, I'm also looking forward to the other shows I'm not conducting. Um, no, but I think it's it's um, um, it's fantastic to be able to do Valkyrie, and I'm I'm conducting it for the very first time, so that's really exciting. Um, and also this double bill with uh, some I think essential uh, masterworks of the early 20th century, um, and of course I heard so many great things about the production, about Robert Lepage's production of um, Bluebeard's Castle and Avartum. I, I, I can't wait to see it happening at the Four Seasons. Goodbye, goodbye Schmopra, and goodbye everybody, and um, I'm, I'm pleased that there is something like uh, a, platfo a platform, a real uh, interesting platform, um, as Schmopera is uh, for all of us who love opera, but who also love the arts in general and uh, who love life. <laughs>